January 17th, 2023. I'm writing this diary because there's a possibility I'm going crazy. I might have suffered a severe memory loss today. I don't even know where to start. I remember being in the middle of a tall, dark forest with my best friend Scott. The problem is, I have no idea how I got there. I remember going to sleep yesterday, but I don't know what happened afterward. Hey Scott, what the fuck are we doing here? I asked him. No idea, mate. He shook his head in shock. I don't remember. I don't even remember what I did a few minutes ago. The last thing I remember is, is yesterday evening when I went to sleep. Yeah, same. What the fuck's going on? Are we drugged? Scott glanced at me. No, my head is 100% clear. I just don't remember anything from today. Let's just get back home, eh? Someone's missing. What? I raised my eyebrows. I feel like there should be someone else here. With us, but I don't remember who. As he said this, I had the same feeling. I still don't remember how we got into that forest. But there were three of us. Me, Scott, and someone else, but for fuck's sake, I can't remember who. We later went back to our homes and texted a few common friends if they know something. But they all thought we were just drunk or high or both. Needless to say, I'm not getting any sleep today. It's already past midnight and my thoughts are keeping me awake. January 19th, 2023. Today I went to a pub with Scott to talk about this strange incident with each other. Look, first we have to know who was the third person with us, Scott said. Are you sure there was a third person? I mean, I remember the same, but maybe it's just our minds playing games with us. I'm sure, it's like I can almost name the guy, but I just can't remember his name or appearance. Okay then, I don't know, let's look through our high school classmates. We met most of our common friends there, so... Good idea, mate. Good idea. Luckily, I had the list of our classmates saved on my phone, so I opened the file and started reading the names. No, I haven't talked to him since our graduation. No, not her either. She's in Japan. Scott kept shaking his head as he read the names. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't any of them, I said as we finished the list. But wait, Scott interrupted. There are 22 names on your list. We had 23 students in our class. True, I responded. He was right. I remembered it too. It was impossible to forget. 23 students and 24 chairs in the classroom. We kept one more just in case we broke one. But who's missing from the list? We sat there for like an hour, trying to remember our 23rd classmate from high school, but we just forgot who it was. Now it's evening and I'm home again, browsing through my friends on social media, trying to find our missing classmate. Now I'm sure it was him, our 23rd classmate. He was the one with us in the forest. January 20th, 2023. Scott called me today. Morning, mate. Look, remember when in high school we were walking home and a homeless guy randomly offered to sell us cigarettes? Ha, uh, yeah, I remember. I laughed. And we bought... I had to stop for a few seconds to catch my breath. We bought... three cigarettes. Exactly. Who was the third person with us? I don't know. Mate, it's fucking crazy. It's like our friend just erased himself from reality, like he never existed. Is that even possible? I don't know, mate. This past few days, I don't know. January 24th, 2023. This morning, Scott knocked on my door. Hey, Scott. I greeted him. What's up? Did you find something? Look, we have to get back to that forest. He said. To be honest, I thought it was a bad idea, so I tried to convince him otherwise. Scott, just no. Mate, I'm sure that guy was a friend of ours, and something happened to him. Something made him vanish from the past and present. And I think we both know that the last time we might have seen him was in that forest. Something happened there, something terrible. We must find out, for him. Scott, listen, if he even existed, like, ever, and something erased him from existence, whatever it was, a cosmic power, an alien, a witch, or the devil himself, then it can do the same to us. If we suffer the same fate. He is our friend. We don't even know if he's real. I had two best friends for years, you and him. I'm 100% sure. Just as I am, I responded. He was right. 
The three of us were best friends, and still, we don't remember anything about the third guy. Even if there was no hope to bring him back anymore, our curiosity proved to be more powerful than our survival instincts. Who or what is so powerful it can erase someone like this? Tomorrow, Scott said. We're going to the forest tomorrow. January 25th, 2023. Okay, so right now we're in that forest. I'm waiting here while Scott is inside a cave. He told me to write down everything while he's inside. We walked back to the exact place where we regained our memories more than a week ago. Scott quickly noticed a narrow, dark cave leading somewhere under the ground. It seems familiar, I said. Yeah, if you ask me, I think we were inside that cave before. You don't want to go inside, right? I have to do it. I want to know what happened to him. Stay here and write down everything in your journal. If you want to go there, I'll go with you. No, if I... He stopped and closed his eyes for a few seconds. If I get erased, like him, you have to tell everyone what happened. Your journal is the proof. Don't worry, I'll come back before you notice. So yeah, I'm sitting at the entrance of the cave, waiting for him to come back. I hope he does. Oh god, I hope he comes back. January 26th, 2023. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I just couldn't write anything more yesterday. Because I just couldn't process what happened. I'm still doubting my sanity. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. That would be much easier to accept. One minute, I just found myself in the forest, sitting at the entrance of a cave, and had no idea how I got there. After a few minutes of thinking, I just went back home. Then I found a journal in my backpack. It's probably mine. It's my writing, and uh, it looks like it had already happened once on the 17th of January. I wrote it down, and I somehow still forgot about it until I read the journal. I read the whole thing, and I was writing about my best friend Scott in every entry. I never had a friend called Scott. At least, I don't remember. For fuck's sake, what is happening? A few months ago, I've probably lost my two best friends. I wrote about it here, but if you're reading this, you possibly don't remember that anyway. Don't worry, I'll explain everything. I created a cloud document to write this journal and programmed a bot, so if I don't open the file for a week, the bot will automatically post this online so you'll know what happened. If you don't remember me or my last post, long story short, the three of us had stumbled upon a cave. One of us, I don't remember his name, entered the cave and vanished, along with any memories associated with him. We don't remember him at all. Nobody does. After that, I revisited the same cave with my other friend, Scott. I only know his name because of my journal. Scott went inside and suffered the same fate. I tried to make sense of the event since it happened. I'm alone, and I have no idea what to do. My friends are gone, and nobody remembers they ever existed. I can't tell this story to anyone. They would think I'm crazy. But I have to find out what's inside that cave. Somebody must know. There must be someone who tried to explore it before. We just... We just can't remember them. I decided to ask a neighbor, Peter. He was 78. I hoped he could give me some useful information. I asked him about the cave, and he said nobody ever went there in recent times, but he worked as a journalist in his 20s. He talked about working on an article based on a cult that had a secret hiding place at the cave. Unfortunately, he didn't remember much anymore, but he told me which year's newspaper I had to check to find the article. After that, I went to our library's archives and quickly found the newspaper with Peter's article. He wrote about occultists originating from the Middle Ages, or even before that. They used the cave as a place to make sacrifices to someone they called the Supreme God. 
The military planned a raid in 1930 because even they considered the cult dangerous, but nothing came out of it. The article also mentioned someone called Simeon Ryder. The last time anyone visited that cave was decades ago, but Simeon decided to explore it in the following week. I'll keep everyone updated on how his mission went, wrote Peter. Strange, he'd never mentioned Simeon before. I checked the following week's newspaper and there was no mention of him either. Maybe Simeon suffered the same fate as Scott and my other friend. I was thinking about going back to Peter to ask him about Simeon, but I decided it would have been pointless. If Simeon is also deleted from people's memories, Peter won't remember him. I spent the next few days searching for information about this cult. They were called the Sons of the Supreme God and were active mostly in Europe, but some of them came here with the colonists, then settled here in Harwich, and used it as a base of operations in the U.S. Some sources say the reason they chose Harwich is because there was an entity living in that cave called the Servant of the Supreme God. They believed it was a cosmic entity coming to Earth millions of years ago. I would say this whole thing is bullshit, but after losing multiple people at this cave, I don't know, there's a chance it may be true. I've also found a report about the military raid. The papers said they would be deployed in March of 1930, but there's no information if the raid actually happened or not. Okay, a few days have gone by since I last updated this journal. Right now I'm at the entrance of this cave. It's around midnight. I had a sudden urge an hour ago to visit the cave, I don't know why. It's fucking cold, but anyway, if I'm here, I'm going in. If I die, it doesn't matter, this post will get posted automatically. But I must know what happened to my friends. Update. I'm inside that cave. I don't know if there's internet down there, so I have no idea if I can save this or not. The cave is full of unknown symbols, probably a cultist. There are no pentagrams, but a lot of signs remind me of it. I also found a few old skeletons. Some look like they've been here for hundreds of years, but some seem quite recent. Update 2 Okay, I'm shaking right now, but I think I'm safe enough right now to write down what happened in the last half an hour. As I walked deeper and deeper into the cave, I found dozens of corpses. There were about 10 skeletons in old U.S. Army uniforms. They could have been the soldiers who came here in 1930. But the most terrifying thing I saw was a living human being. He appeared out of nowhere and I almost shat myself. He looked the same age as me. Who are you? I asked. Me, he responded with a shaking voice. I'm nobody. I don't exist. Yes, you exist for fuck's sake. You're here. So, do you... Uh, see me? Yes, I see you. No, no, it can't be. The guy started screaming. I don't exist. I never existed. I will die in a few days anyway. How can you die if you don't exist? I asked. The guy looked familiar. I... I... He paused for a few seconds, thinking. I don't know. I suddenly heard a deep, long sound coming from even deeper. It sounded... I can't even describe it. It was something I never heard before. It was the servant, he exclaimed. What servant? The... I remembered the research I'd done. The servant of the Supreme God. A cosmic entity coming to Earth millions of years ago. Doesn't matter. I don't exist anyway. I... Scott... I said, you're Scott, I remember now, we came here together, remember? Scott, he repeated, Scott, Scott, my name is Scott, my name is Scott, no, I don't exist. He started shaking, then collapsed to the ground. I tried to catch him, but then, I don't know what happened. I suddenly got here. I'm at this empty place, there's nothing, absolutely nothing here. I think there's not even a ground I can stand on, I'm just floating in darkness, there's nothing here, I just hear those deep sounds. But, but I exist. I don't think I'm dead. So that means I'm probably erased from people's memories, but I'm still alive. So there must be a way out. I don't know if this journal will update or not since there's barely any signal down here, but if you can read this, please, you have to help me. I still exist, I just don't know where. But I feel the servant coming closer and closer.